for me on this part. But the bottom line is everything I shared with you today is great, but it's not so great if we're not getting butts in the seat. And the thing you got to know about us is how are people finding you? How are people finding you and what are they doing to look you up? I get that word of the mouth is the best. It's the thing we've all been programmed to say. Well, I feel word of the mouth is the best reference. It is. But if there's not enough mouths moving about you, if you're doing it 30 years and you're probably in town long enough, that's great. But this is getting crazy and the world's becoming a commodity and they see dentistry as a commodity. Now they're looking you up. How are they looking you up? Back in the day, if you were also the guy who said, I don't believe in being in the yellow pages, then this may not appeal to you at all. But as you know, we all need to be found some way. So today, I brought you, I think instead of me doing it, the guys who made us a success both in, on all the different social medias, and I'm going to give the rest of the time uh, to accelerate marketing so he can go over it. Bombard him with questions. Please, I want to put him on the spot. So, Brian, all right, thanks. it's all you, baby. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks, brother. You want a mic? Uh, no, that's You good with that? I can, I can talk pretty loud, I think. All right. Um, Everybody. My name is Ryan, and um, uh, you know what, I, what I'm going to share with you guys today is going to help you guys grow your business. My goal is to, as as Chris said, is to help you dominate your market. And what we are is we're a local marketing company, and we're a reputation marketing company, and we're based out of West Palm Beach here. The uh, the, the main thing, I'm going to give you some step-by-step -step strategies that will help you guys, the proprietary strategies, by the way, that will help you guys become rock stars in your local marketplace. Um, and the other thing that what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you, um, and the other thing is that I'm going to, I'm, the, the bottom line is that you guys are being searched, okay? There's a lot of people that are online right now, and they're typing in dentist in whatever city. So the question is, is, as Chris said, is, are you being found? And actually, some of this information, I was just uh, featured on CBS Money Watch and also the Miami Herald, because this is, this is not only relevant information right now, but it's, it's very powerful information. And some of the, some of the, um, the concepts were featured in, in both of these articles. I was also picked up by about 70 different channels. So this, is, this is relevant now information. and, and um, every day, as I said, every day people are looking for your services online. Um, Dentist West Palm Beach, you can see that there's 2,400 people here that are typing in the word Dentist West Palm Beach. Appliance Repair Denver, we looked at, and by the way, this is all free information online. Google does a great job of giving away free information and free services. I don't know how they do it. I, don't know, I mean, well, we all know how they do it, actually. They charge, they charge you guys a lot for pay-per-click. Um, and, and so, we want to get away from that. I mean, how many how many of you guys are actually using PPC or pay-per-click or even know what PPC is? Okay, so you guys know what that is. Um, well, I'm, I'm here to tell you that pay-per-click is a great way to get butts in the seats, get patients in the door. But as Chris said, Chris hit on something that is very interesting, is, is that referral marketing is a very powerful way of marketing. And that's when a brother, a sister, a mother recommends your business, your practice to somebody else. And that brings somebody in the door. Well, that's what this is. What I'm going to talk to you about today, because we are a reputation marketing company, a reputation management company, which by the way, how many have heard of that, that concept or that term? Okay. Um, it's, it's fairly new, but let me, let me just start the, the presentation. I mean, by the way, I'm going, to, I'm going to cover four shifts in the marketplace that have happened in the past four months that are really going to get you guys to, to look at what really is going on in terms of, of SEO. Everybody, everybody talks about SEO and search engine optimization. I'm sure you guys are, are fairly familiar with that. But this is different. And, this is, and what, what this does is it really um, it changes the focus of what we're, what we're doing online from SEO to more of a referral marketing game. And, and the, the good thing is, is that is that if you've got a great business and you've got people that will leave you opinions online, then you can you can really build your online marketing strategy. And it's not just about building backlinks to your website. Okay. So let me just back up. Actually, so the first question is is would you buy a product or service that has bad reviews? 
and raisins. And I guess you guys, I'm sure you guys understand that I, I don't, I can't buy a, a a fingernail clipper without going to Amazon or eBay in order to find out what what reviews are, are being left about a, a particular product or service. But that's just I'm a, I'm an online guy, so I like to see what you know. I, I use the internet a lot to buy pretty much everything. So and I don't know if anybody else looks at reviews. You guys look at reviews before you buy stuff. Okay, so I always want to find out what people are saying about things. So. <clears throat> So two pro here's, here's a deeper question. Two products are identical. One has 10 good reviews, and the other one has three, has 10, the same, let's say the same number of good reviews, but one bad. Which, which product or service are you gonna go with? You're gonna go with the one that has the 10 reviews that doesn't have the bad one probably, right? So, so really, in essence, what we're saying is that we're one review away from potentially losing customers or a bad reputation online. I just want to make sure that you guys understand that. that, And this is why this is really one of the most important ways that you can market your business online. Your reputation is everything, and the online marketing game has changed, and, and your competition doesn't know about it. Even though I was I was on CBS Market Watch, etc., believe it or not, I mean, this is a very new concept, and not many people are actually implementing the steps and the strategies that I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you guys today. Um, obviously, Chris is, is one of them, and, and you'll see the results. And because what I'm going to do at the end is I'm going to shift from from that computer back there to, to Chris's up here, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to all if you want, I'll, I'll pull up some of your businesses and show you some examples of, of what I'm talking about. So, game changer number one is that any if you type in any company name plus a city, it reveals that company's reputation, which is really a, this is a new this is a game changer. So for the first time, this changed about probably about four months ago in the search results, which by the way, as you guys know, about 69% of people are going to Google to find, to find things. So that we, we focused on Google, and this shift just changed on Google about four months ago. And so what we're, so this is what we're talking about. And I just did what you said that <laughs> everybody does. Um, so th if you type in, here's a great example, Douglas Alterman in Charleston, you can see that this is what I'm talking about. If somebody types in his practice name in a city, and I don't know if these guys are doing searches right now to see, I think these guys are actually searching right now. So yeah. <laughs> Dr. Uh, okay, so, so Douglas Alterman, DMV. So you can see that right here, oh, whoops, wrong one. Sorry. Come on, oh, come on. There we go. So, so right there, that's, uh, that's called a, a Zagat score, or Zagat, as an Italian friend of mine just corrected me on. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I didn't know that, but but any, bottom line is is that 15 out of 30 ain't good. So we want it, we want that score to be closer to 20 or 25 out of 30. <clears throat> so how many of you guys knew that that your reputation is out there online right now? And you've got and, and okay, you knew that, but not many else did. Do you know, do you, know you have a Zagat score? Do you know that Google bought Zagat about a year ago because they spotted this trend and they're a mega billion dollar company. And this is, this is, I'm telling you guys, this is, if, you, if you get on this and, and implement these strategies, you will be head and shoulders above your community or your competition in your local market because not many people are doing it. So, so this is what we want. This guy's got, and by the way, you need 10 reviews, 10 reviews on Google. How many have Google Plus local page? How many know what a Google Plus local page is? Okay. Every business has been given a, a page called a Google Plus local page. The question is, is have you claimed it? And better yet, have you actually optimized it? And are you, for, are you actually going out there and actively trying to get these reviews from your customers, your patients, in order to build your reputation online? So that's, that's really what we're, what we're gonna focus on today. And game changer number two is that customer reviews are a major factor in almost, and this is why this is really the new search engine optimization. And I really enjoy this because it, it takes, it, it really puts the human factor back into what we do. It's not just about how many backlinks you can hire some company in India to build to your website in order to get you an artificial ranking, right? So, and this is what's really amazing. You guys should really be like, wow, I, I was. When I, so maps, and the bottom line is these little stars right here, they show up. In, the map, in your maps listing, they show up in your pay-per-click. So you guys are doing PPC. Did you know that, you're, that, that, this, that these reviews will show up in your PPC? So what good is it for me to get you guys in the, at the top of Google? Everybody, wants, everybody knows about SEO. Oh, yeah, I know what SEO is. It's about getting on the first page, on the top of Google. So I want to get on the top of Google. So, but what if I get you on the top of Google 
and you've got a one star reputation, right? So I'm not doing you any good if I get you in the first position, but your reputation precedes you, right? So that, so that makes sense? So, so the website rankings, the, the organic rankings, the local rankings, all these incorporate reviews in them. So no matter what type of online marketing you do, your reputation is going there with you. Game change number three is that SEO, social media, PPC, local marketing, none of it works anymore, as to my point, with if you have bad reviews online. So what we want to do is step one is create a five-star reputation, and then number two is to market your products and services after you build your reputation online. So it's just a, it's a real, and here, I'm gonna give you, and I know you guys are data guys, because I, I was, when I, in my previous life, I was a, I was a farmer rep, and I, and I went and I, I talked to doctors, and I, and I delivered a lot of multivariate analysis studies. And I'm gonna give you, your, I know, I'm gonna give you what you want, I'm gonna give you some Harvard studies at the end that, that prove this information is, is valid. Now, review send you pre-qualified, pre-sold customers because buyers trust reviews. 72% of buyers trust reviews as much as personal recommendations. Miles Anderson, who's the, who's the CEO and founder of Bright Local, did a study and this is what he found. But this is also corroborated by Nielsen. Nielsen did a study, you guys all are familiar with Nielsen, they do the, they do the ratings for the TV shows. Nielsen did a study in Q3 of 2011 and they, what they wanted to find out is to what extent do you, do you trust the following forms of advertising? And what they found is, is that 92 percent of people, not surprisingly, trust recommendations from people that they know, okay? So, but what's really surprising though about this, about this, this information, or about this graph, or this, this, um, this data point, is that 70% of consumers, just below those, that, that other, that other um, number there, 70% of people trust those consumer opinions posted online about a business. So a full three out of four people will trust those, consi those consumer opinions posted online about your business as much as they trust a referral from a brother, a sister, a mother. And even your, your branded website that you probably paid thousands of dollars for is not trusted as much as those opinions. Does that make sense? Okay, so, and you can even get down here to text ads on mobiles, ads on TV, email, if you guys have email lists and stuff like that. What I would recommend is continue to do the email list, but make sure that you incorporate these consumer opinions in those emails that you might be sending out to your to your following, to your your tribe, if you will, the people that are that are on your list. How many how many have a list or a list of okay, you okay, good. Man, you're, you're, you're the one marketer in the world <laughs> yes, is going by the corner over here. Alright, so uh, reputation marketing. Why reputation is vital to a business. Okay. Here's why. So here's remember I gave you that number of 10 reviews before? So 10 is kind of that magic number because we know that that's the number that you need to get in order to get your Zagat score, your Zagat score. And so there was also, there's actually a study done by Demand Force. A lot of dentists use Demand Force in order to gather reviews. If you are, what I'm going to suggest is that you use a funnel that actually captures reviews and you post, or you can get out there to sites that really matter to your, to your practice. Because ultimately, What's happening is a lot of people don't know this, but those reviews, that you're, I mean, I have dentists that are getting hundreds of reviews every single month, and they love it. They're like, man, I got 250 reviews, it's awesome. And I'm like, well, that's great, but who's seeing them? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> let's get those reviews on a, on a private review landing page, which I'm gonna show you in a second, so that those reviews can be posted to Google Plus Local, or to Yahoo, or Bing, or the, the, the portals that people are, where people are going, so that, they can, so that people can actually find these reviews. I challenge you to find any demand for reviews that are out there. I mean, if, you, if, if, you're, if you're using demand for, anyway. So bottom line is that demand force did this study and what they found is, is that 70% is that of consumers trust the business with a minimum of six to 10 reviews. So really your business is not trusted until you get to that magic number of 10. Does that make sense? So without five star reviews, so what is reputation marketing? So it's really, Positioning your business, your practice, as in yourself, as the as the market leader in front of thousands of buyers with that five-star reputation once you build it. And you can build, there's not, it's not just textual information that you want to build your reputation with. You can also do video, uh, video testimonies, which is very, they're very powerful. 
and I highly recommend it. I'll show you some examples that we've done with, um, with Dr. Ritter and Ramsey in a little bit. Do you know your reputation online? So right now is we've actually acquired a proprietary technology that allows you to get your baseline for where you stand. Um, we normally charge $99 for these reports, but what this will do is it will give you a report. The system will go out and it will scour the internet. It will scrape all of the reviews that are out there about your business, your particular business, and it will give you a report showing you. I guess go inside. Okay, so so basically you got. It'll give, you the, it'll give you a score, it'll tell you how many bad reviews you have, it'll tell you your reputation score, and it will give you the, um, the, the status of how many people are able to find you online. It'll give you a, an, an idea of how well or how easy it is for people to actually find your website and your practice on the other directories, not just on Google Plus Local, but also on City Search, Local.com, Superpages, Yelp, etc. So, because ultimately, what you want to do is you, you want to claim not only your Google Plus local page, but you want to claim all these other directories out there. Because the wider and the deeper that your footprint is on all these directories, the more and the, high, the higher the ranking you'll get on the map with your Google Plus page. Because Google sees all these other directories that you've claimed, and it will, it will actually raise your rankings if it sees that you've claimed more of these directories. So I would highly, that's one of the steps that I would recommend that you guys do, or you have somebody in your office do, is to go out there and claim the directories. And I'll show you which ones you want to go claim in one second. This is, again, this is proprietary information, but it's something that you can, you can do when you go back to the office on Monday, or maybe even on, you know, you can. So anyway, so yourreprport.com is where you would go. Just put in your phone number there. And what will come back within a minute or two will be your reputation, your specific business's reputation. And what I would recommend is make sure that you use your business, your most frequently used business phone number. Okay, not your cell phone number, but you know your your, your business phone number, obviously. And then if you want to get any uh, some more information about about this, about what it is that you know how you can build your reputation online, put your name and email address in the screen that follows once you get your reputation report, and you can get more information that way too. So there's in, in this whole reputation marketing strategy or in this in this in the building of your reputation, there's really four types of reputation. There's a, there's bad reputation, there's no reputation at all, there's good, and then there's a five star reputation. So really, the one that, that we want to try to build is a five star reputation. We want to be as close to obviously a 30 out of 30 or a five star reputation as as possible. So the strategy is is to develop a five to, to, that, to develop a five-star reputation, market that reputation, manage it, create a rep, and then here's the thing that a lot of people forget. A lot of businesses forget this part of the implementation of this whole strategy. It's actually creating a culture in a business, in your dentistry practice, where, and I heard Chris talking about this a lot, talking about other people on his team, etc. It's all about educating your staff on not only the importance of this new shift in, on, in the online marketing game, but also making, also making them aware of how they capture those reviews when you get a what, what I refer to as a referable moment. A referable moment is when somebody just compliments you on your business. You know, I got a compliment today. This is one client. I, I never thought I would get a compliment from this guy. But he, he complimented me and he said, Ryan, you're doing, you did a great job. And I actually, I forgot to ask for either a referral at that moment, but, that, but that's the time when you want to ask for that person to give you a referral. And it's important that your neighbor, everyone from your front out, from your receptionist, all the way back to your hygienist, knows how, when, and how to actually capture a review online. And that, and that process needs to be made easy. And that's really what we do as a reputation marketing company, is we just make that process of gathering reviews very simple so that your staff can ask somebody at that point when they they get that referral moment, so that, that they make it just easy for that person to leave a review for your practice. Develop so here's develop your five so here's some of the some of the things that we've developed as a company to develop your to help you develop your five-star reputation. One is these business and postcards. 
Dr. Ritter and Ramsey, they, they kind of changed ours around. They, they made them all like really, you know, really, I mean, they did them a little differently. But the bottom line is, is that they, what, what we've incorporated here is this QR code and the, also this very short URL here. And sometimes we associate it with a, um, some, sort of a, some sort of a giveaway in order to give somebody a, you know, an opportunity to maybe be into, entered into a drawing. Because some of these companies that, that gather reviews, it's against their terms of service for you to actually offer a direct reward for somebody leaving a review. So this is how we kind of we get around that. And then you can see this behind here is the actual, there's a, well, those, are the, those are the postcards. Here's the business cards that just went away really quick. Uh, but so you get the point. The, the bottom line is, is you just want to make, you want to make sure that when somebody does say, you know, you guys did a great job, that your staff has a way, either in the form of those postcards or just being educated to know how to walk somebody through on their iPhone how to leave a review for your practice. So the um, there's also okay. So there's the here's one of the primary ways that we remember I talked to you guys about the um, the private review landing page. What I would recommend is that you have your people go, your patients go to a private review landing page. And you'll notice that on the right hand side here we've got these favorable reviews on the private review landing page. And by the way, this is private because the results of these reviews, these reviews are actually sent directly to the owner of the business and to us, okay? So these reviews don't just go out there willy-nilly on the internet. So that's, why, that's how we manage this process. So the, re the reviewer puts their name in, their city, their state, the rating, and the, uh, the contents of the review. If you have multiple locations, you can actually put in the, uh, the various locations that you have here and you, they click on add review. So you can see here that, okay, and, there's a, and you also want to make sure that you have some sort of a hosting strategy for getting these reviews out there on the internet. So, I'll wrap it up. So businesses can, can, and here's one of the things you guys can understand is that a lot of businesses that I talk to, they want to they post their own reviews. They want to leave their own reviews. Well, the thing you have to understand is, is that review sites have algorithms and filters that delete reviews that are not posted from, from that, that, are, that are posted from the same computer IP address. So it's important for you guys to understand that that this is this is going on. So you can't just, you know, you've got to make sure that you've got a process in place in order to in order to gather these reviews. So um, and the key thing is, and this is really the difference between a reputation management and a reputation marketing company. One of the things that that we do that's different, and we kind of coined this phrase of reputation marketing, is, is that once, once we build your reputation online, we market it. So what we do is, is we, and by the way, you know, like I mentioned, you know, a, a couple of our, a few of our clients have done some, some, video, some video marketing. We've actually captured video reviews or video testimonials from clients or from pay, their patients. But the, the thing that you really, that, that you really want to do is you want to incorporate, just like I showed you on that review landing page, Along the right-hand side of, your, of, that, of that page, there we, we're, we're posting those positive reviews on that right-hand side. You want to do the same thing with your website. You want to make sure that those reviews are constantly streaming into your website, so that you have what's called social proof. Because ultimately, if you're talking about psychological triggers in terms of you know people engaging with your business or choosing to engage with your business, you want to engage. If there's one psychological trigger that you want to engage with your with your, with your um, patients is you want to engage the psychological trigger of social proof. Because ultimately, that's what's going to get somebody to actually take action. When they see that other people are having a favorable experience with your business, they're going to want to, they're going to, want to engage your business and, and they're going to, you're going to get them in the front door. So, um, and one of those ways is to, is to get, those, get those reviews on your website, on your social media. You also want to make sure that you incorporate, as I mentioned before, in your emails that you send out to your list. Okay, anywhere and everywhere that you have people that are engaging with you online, whether it's an email form, obviously on your maps. And here's the other thing. And this is one thing that I know, Chris. Yeah, question. The social media marketing. How safe is it in relation to the patient's privacy and your relationship with the patient? Oh, so you know what? And I'll, I'll answer that. It's a great question. Let me let me get through this because I think your question is 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 you know patient privacy with HIPAA. Right. You know how how can you engage with the, with your patients in a safe way that also protects their privacy? 
on social media like Facebook and Instagram? Good point. Well, it's up to them. They're they're pro. They're taking. I mean, like, without getting, I'll get back to that. But the okay. bottom line is that you want to make sure that you're giving information, and if, if they choose to go on your Facebook page and engage with you, then that's up to them. And they've they've actually they've then said, okay, you know, I'm I'm willing to engage with you, and I'm willing to put myself out there and, and, and let people know that I'm a patient. Here. So, oh, before I forget, so the bottom one there was sales marketing. Okay, so here's Imagine this. Okay, you're sitting there in your office, and you've got somebody that's going to spend, like Chris said, maybe twenty-five thousand dollars or so, and they're trying to make a decision as to whether or not they go with your practice or they go with somebody else's. Okay, or that maybe they're just trying to make a decision as to whether or not they're even going to want to do it at all. What? Imagine how powerful this would be. Is if you said, okay, and you've got your computer sitting there, they're on the other side, and you say, well, you know, there's been many people that have sat in the chair that you're in trying to make a decision as to whether or not they want to move forward. Well, don't trust me. Let's, let's, let's go on to Google and let's see what other people are saying about our business and just turn the, you know, turn the screen around and show them the favorable reviews that other people, once you've built that, that reputation online, that is, that's going to be a, a clincher for your business. It, it will definitely help you close more business because it's not you, it's just saying, look, you know, not only are we found, you know, you might, it would be great if you were on the map and maybe in the A or B position, but if you have, and I'm going to show Chris's example, and I'm going to show a few other examples of businesses that are on the map. I mean, that carries a lot of weight, and when, and when you can see those reviews there, and you see that Zagat score of 30 out of 30, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty impactful for a patient. Would you guys agree? Is that, yeah, okay. So, um, okay, so daily monitoring, and by the way, Google Alerts, who's familiar with Google Alerts? The one guy that was answering all the questions in the back, so I'm not, I'm not here anymore. So, <laughs> um, so Google Alerts, um, they don't work because ultimately, and here's, here's the bottom line, is you want to manage, you want to you make sure that you know when somebody leaves a review about your practice, okay? And you want to respond to it. To, to your point, you want to engage with that person at that time and say, look, if it's a, if it's a negative review, you know, say whatever you're going to say. We give our clients templates so that they can actually Engage. You don't want to. You don't want to give it back to them. I mean, you don't want to start a, an escalation. That's obviously what you don't want. You want to make sure the person it feels heard, and and then move on. And you want to make sure that that you try to let everybody know that you try to re-engage that person. Maybe bring them back into the office and let them know that this is something that doesn't happen in our office very often. A lot of a lot of dentists that I talk to, they don't. They miss this point. They don't go on their Yelp page. They don't go on. They don't monitor what people are saying about. It. And what's happening is, is they're building up all these negative reviews. And if you don't respond, then how does that, how does that make you look? I mean, whenever I'm watching the news, and I always hear the bad, you know, like the, the news report about the bad guy, you know, oh, this, this business is doing X, Y, Z, but then the guy that is in the business doesn't show up for, the, for their interview. I mean, if there's no information that you can get from the other person, then automatically you, you default to saying, oh, well, he's guilty. You know, he, you know he's, it's, a, it's a bad business or whatever. So, it's, it's very important for you guys to respond to these. And so what we do is we do um, bi-weekly reporting, daily review alerts, both negative and positive. So we let you know if, if, these, if these reviews are negative or positive, and, um, and we give you a reporting on this. And we also give you like a, we give you a summer report at the end of the month. So you, can, so you know like in mass like all the reviews that, that came in during that month. And by the way, this is based on your location. So if you have if you have five different locations, then we can you can segregate each of the reviews based on the locations that the, the reviews come in from, which is really important because ultimately, if you get a review and it comes in from one location, a lot of times these reviews can actually spread. So you want to make sure that that review is just identified with just that location and not all of your locations, especially if it's a bad one. If you want to continue to grow your reviews. Uh, post, as I said before, posting reviews can't be done by an individual. And then you want to manage by marketing only the five-star reviews with all the ways that I, I talked to you guys about, about marketing with those, with those reviews. So, um, and then finally, you want to create a reputation marketing culture. And, we, and what, what we do, and what I would suggest that you do, is, is talk, to your, talk to your staff about this. Just let them know. I mean, this, look, there's people that are reviewing our business online. I can give you some websites that you can go to to 
tomorrow, and you can find out what you're, well, you're going to get the reputation report probably. So you'll be able to know exactly where your negative reviews are. You'll know what directories you guys have claimed, and you'll know exactly what people are saying about you. And all, like I said, the main thing you want to do is you want to make sure that, that you are inspiring, as I said here, inspiring your staff to give first class service. You guys all expect that from your staff. So, you know, so what's, so basically the, the, the question is, is what's inspiring your, your staff? Because well, ultimately you guys are going to get your next customer based on how you treated the one that you have in the seat and what their feedback is from that experience. So it just, it's kind of like a replicating cycle. You know, they have that experience with you, they give a, they give a review, and then hopefully that review is found by somebody and it cycles back and it gives you more repeat business. So the plan is, what we do is we actually build a personalized reputation training center for all of our clients that is, a, that's got about 40 minutes of videos in it so that you can very easily, quickly train your staff. They know exactly what's going on. They know exactly what this whole reputation marketing thing is all about. And they take a test in order to make sure that they know what, um, know what's expected of them. And, and so here's, here's some of the information that, that I wanted to share with you. So bottom line is, is that from 2010 to 2011, the average number of sources that people used in order to make a decision as to whether or not they're going to buy something pretty much doubled, okay? So here's how that is really impacting the business. There was, a, there was a book that was written by Jim Lipinski, who was one of the VPs or one of the head guys at Google, and it was called Zmod. And I highly recommend that you do that. It's a PDF download. It will drastically impact the way that you, that you manage and market your business. It's called Zmod, which stands for Zero Moment of Truth. And what that means is, is that what, what he's talking about is that there, there's a moment between the stimulus, when somebody actually sees a billboard or whatever, or is referred to your business, and the time that the person actually comes in, let's, let's use an example of maybe like a consumer good at, at a grocery store. So somebody, so Miss whatever, XYZ, sees a, an ad about a product or service. They go, to the, they go to the grocery store, they go to the aisle, and that moment when they're actually at the aisle is, is the, what's called the first moment of truth, okay? So, but before that, that moment of truth, that was like the moment of truth until about four or five years ago when people were starting to use iPhones and stuff. Well, that first moment of truth now has been predicated by this what's called zero moment of truth. And that's that, that information gathering phase that people are going through in order to determine whether or not they're going to engage with your business, they're going to buy XYZ product. And you can see that the number of times that people are going to that zero moment of truth is doubled. And that's very important for you to know, and that's why it's important for you to know what people are finding when they type in dentist in your city, okay? or dentist in your city plus the word reviews, okay? And, and that's happening every day. We know that, and I'll, and I'll prove it to you in a second. Um, so your reputation is everything. Reputation marketing is the most important marketing. Every consumer, every company needs a strategy, and you know, we, can put, we can put one together for you, but um, here's some studies I wanted to show you. Harvard Magazine, this is a, the company, you guys are familiar with Yelp probably, Yelp.com, so Yelp, is one of the major directories that are out there. Okay, they are based out there on the West Coast. And what you can see is, is that what they found in, in looking at all these Yelp users is that just a one star increase in their Yelp rating leads to a five to nine percent increase in revenue. This is for restaurants. And by the way, this doesn't apply, very interestingly, does not apply to chains. The reason why is because people know what to expect from a chain, right? So you go to a chain, you know that, that Taco Bell is going to be Taco Bell, it's going to be Taco Bell, whether you get something in California or Florida. So reviews don't really matter in the, in, in the, in the chain example, and this was proven out, but if, you're a, if you have a unique business, if, you have a, if you're a dentist or you're an attorney, I think this information can very well, very easily corroborate over into the dentistry industry. There's no question about it. This is very... This is very relevant and very important information. Another study was done by Berkeley, and a very similar thing. They looked at Yelp.com. Half star rating translates into a 19% greater likelihood that an eatery seats will be full during peak dining times. And this is totally independent of changes in price, food, or quality, or service quality. I have a question for you. What if you had a case, we have vaccines, it's on Yelp. If you have a case where a patient came in and there was an issue with payment, and you can think of the front desk. So 
So he, he makes sure he gives us three stars in Yelp. Right. He makes sure he says, you know, you know, Dr. Reed, Dr. Chu, great, but the front desk are mean and yeah. awful and give, give us three stars. <laughs> so how do you, what do you do with things like that? You know, it's, so you got a bad, so you got a bad review, and it, and it was just, it was basically, it was because of your front office. Yeah, I know the money the issue that, you know, so much, right? Yeah. So. Well, and here's, here's one of the, the $10 million questions is, is you know, you, so the gentleman said you got, a, you got a bad review online on Yelp, and so what do you do about it? How do you, how do you get rid of that Yelp review? Because it, was, it wasn't even his, it wasn't because of something he did, it was because of his staff. Well, first and foremost, we know that, that it's, it's impossible for everybody to have a good day every day. I mean, you, can, it's, I'm, you know, there's every, people have bad days. So, but to my point earlier, it's just, it's important that you, res A, you, just, you respond to that review, and you can go to biz.yelp.com and set up your, your own Yelp page. So, and I actually was just in, in Washington, D.C., and I, I, I saw an entire presentation by Yelp by one of the, one of the senior, senior advisors there, and, and it was very interesting. I thought he was going to get dragged out by his ears because it was at a, uh, the National Association of Property Managers meeting in D.C. at a trade show, he spoke to these property managers, and you talk about a heated discussion. I mean, because as you know, I mean, property managers, I mean, it's their job to be the bad guy, okay? So they, they kick people out, so you can imagine that their, the average number of bad reviews that they're going to get is probably going to be pretty high, right? So that's what, and that's exactly what these guys were just enraged about, because there's no way for them to really do anything about it, to your point. And the, the thing that, that you can do, though, and this is, what we, this is what we recommend for our clients, and that's why we recommend this strategy in terms of, like, actively asking for reviews so that you can push down those negative reviews, okay? So in essence, what you do is just overwhelm the negative with the positive and respond to the negative and respond to the positive. So does, that, does that answer your question? Yeah, you said, so you, you can, you said it's important to respond to that yep. review. Yep. So this is a place you can do it. You can go to visit the Yelp. Yelp. Um, and you can respond, and that response will be posted on? Yes, only after you claim your page. So people are responding to the page that was set up about you without you even knowing it probably. I mean, and that's, by the way, what's happened is, is that every single business, all 80 million throughout the world, have been given their own Google Plus local page and their own Yelp page, their own City Search, their own X, Y, Yahoo, Bing, etc. The question is, is, again, are you optimizing that page? And have you claimed your page so that you can actually start a dialogue with the people that are actually trying to dialogue with you and give you information about your business. That's the first thing I would definitely do. I'll get over here first and then, yeah, go ahead. I'm trying to understand, I mean, in 2012, is those bad reviews are never going to go away. You can't hire a hacker to change them. <laughs> you deal with them. Right. Right. So he wants to hire, uh, you all, you, well, you can. <laughs> Reputation defender. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well, there's, there's what, what, some, what some people have done is, is they've gone, and this was actually in the, a, 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 in the New York Times, there was an article about this. I don't know if you guys, did you guys see that Yelp article where somebody actively went out to Craigslist and was soliciting to pay people to leave positive reviews that have active Yelp accounts? Did you guys see that? Huh? No? You saw it. It's pretty interesting, wasn't it? Very interesting. I mean, basically, the, the people were hiring professionals on Craigslist, and there are grades to the reviewers. Meaning, if, you have, if you're a reviewer, and you have a very strong reputation reviewing on various sites, you would pay this person enough to like 1500 bucks to write a good review for you. And then when you put the review on, it gets you higher on the search list. But they were actually busting the people that were doing it, yep. kicking them off. And then your business will get some sort of a thing yep. next to it saying, this person hired yes. someone. Literally oh, said, this, is a, literally, this is a Like put a tombstone on your directory page. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, they didn't do that, but I mean, that, that, that was, they, they basically saying, this company was actively caught in solicitation of positive reviews. That's literally what they put on them. So, yeah, five minutes. So, um, so that's really, that's really, that's a great question, but you know, there is a slight chance, albeit very slight, that you can have a negative review removed. We have had in the past, now things have changed. I mean, this, this field is changing so, dra so dramatically. Uh, it's, it's, it's tough even in the past month for us to get, re to get reviews posted on Google. So it's, it's a process that's ever changing. 
Um, it's a field that's very like, you know, very like S very similar to SEO in that, you know, Google's constantly changing this way and we're kind of moving that way. But we're, we want to make sure that, and, and by the way, there's, there's many different ways that you can leave reviews. What we do, what we recommend in order to stay within Google's terms of service, because we always want to stay within their TOSs, is we submit reviews not using pen names. We use the person, and, and actually on that review landing page, there's, at the bottom, we actually have somebody to agree to certain specific guidelines that, say, that allow us to leave a review as them. We set up a real account as that person and we leave a review as them. And that's different, that's unique, because ultimately you wanna, we wanna make sure that we're doing the best for our clients, something that's, that's gonna last long term. We don't want these reviews to all of a sudden be you know, swiped off the internet and have our clients have, a, you know, have basically a tombstone put on their, on their directory page. We want, we wanna make sure that what we're doing is, is, is within the terms of service, that is totally white hat, if you will, and totally, totally legitimate. So, um, you know, those are, those are, now, if, if you want, I can kind of, I can do some live, um, any, any other questions that you guys have? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. That's a, that's a great question. So what you do is you go to, go to your actual Google plus local page. The best way to find you is to just type in your business name and your city. And most likely the first result will be your Google plus local page. And everything, and then basically what you want to do is click on that page, and then there'll be a place there that says claim this page. There'll be a, a little a link there. Yeah. And primarily that's the way that you'll, you'll be able to claim all of the directories out there. So basically these directories are like the new yellow pages. They're all just online. And there's, and there's a lot of them. You guys have some specific to your niche that are more important than others. Like, you know, Dr. Google for, for, dent, for doctors is very important. Every niche has kind of got its important directories, and the way for you to find out which ones are important for your specific area, and because it might even be area specific, is you do the same search. You do the same search, you type in your, your practice name and your city, and then you even put in the word after it reviews, and look at what comes up. Look at what Google is determining as being the most important um, directories online for your particular practice, for your business. And then go out and you know click on each one of those and have somebody in your practice go and claim all those pages. And that, that claiming process is not it's not too challenging. All you got to do is just a, a postcard will be sent to your to your business in the, in the, in the case of Google because they want to verify that you actually have that you're at that address. And then you just basically get a you get a code and you got to put the code into the, into the system and then it accepts it for you and then you claim it. So that's the claiming process. Um, but it's. Yeah, it's something that uh, I've got a few more minutes, but I mean, I think, you know, hopefully I gave you guys some value. What, how many guys are, how many of you guys are actually doing, uh, so are you got, have you guys done a search like that and seen what, where you come up on the, on the map? And do you know the difference between a Google Plus local page and a link to your website? It's very important that if you don't, that you really understand that because a lot of people don't understand the difference between a Google Plus local page and their website link. Because there's really, there's three ways that you can get on the first page of Google, okay? There's with your website, with your Google Plus local page, and video. And pay-per-click, but I'm not, I'm just talking about the, 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 the non-paid-for section. Which, by the way, is 85% of people are clicking in the organic section, in that non-paid-for section. So it's important that you put your, your efforts into that section a little bit more if you're just, you know, just doing one, like if you're just doing pay-per-click. So, um, anyway. I think it's a good, good play. Yeah, couple. So let me preface this by saying I'm uh, 57 years old and kind of technologically challenged. <laughs> but so, you know, it, but, so we have something in our office. Uh, the, the group is called Sesame. And they yeah. work with our, are you familiar with that at all? Yeah, are you, are you familiar with that, Chris? <laughs> yeah, Sesame did our site. And Sesame, Sesame is our host provider. But So we have... We have very many reviews. Yes. When they Sesame. come, they come to my desk and they say, you know, Lynn is wonderful. She's a fantastic hygienist. Yeah. And, and I look at it and I say, Oh, that's nice. Let me go show them. And then see what. And I don't, I, I don't do anything. I know. And nobody sees them. It's just like the man force. So, so are you telling me that I've got this, I've got this arsenal of potential marketing? Info that I can put to use for me? Yes, yeah. 
Because here's is here's, it easy enough to do? It is because all you got to do is just put the link to your to a landing page, like the private review landing page. On, you know, well, we'll just it's, in, it's, in English. In English. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I find so funny because you guys. I mean, what I just saw here today was pretty mind blowing. I mean, you got you say that your tech is a challenge, but you guys deal with nanometers and. I mean, if you can deal with all that kind of stuff, yeah, yeah. so so the bottom line is is that is that yeah, you what you want to do is because Sesame is basically is just another form of demand force. It's the same thing. They're a review gathering facilitating company. Right. You know, really, their their power is is in their connection to your list. So what they what they've done is they've created a very easy way for you to engage with your list, mm -hmm. and they've done like pre-formatted emails that you can send out. All we want to do is just send out that pre-formatted email with a link to a landing page that allows you to capture that review and, and repost it so that it just doesn't go to Sesame. Does that make sense? It's just simple. Sort of. Uh, what, what's my first step? Do I need to, con do I contract, do I need to, to contract someone like you need, or what do I do? Well, if, if you want, if you want to have, if you want to have a private review landing page that you can send your patients to where you have all the positive reviews streaming on the right hand side and then have those reviews go to us and to you only, then, then yeah, I mean that's that's the first step because ultimately then we would take that link and we would put it in those emails that are already going out and instead of somebody reviewing you on, re reviewing you on Sesame, they would review you on our private review landing page. So, so Sesame isn't doing this on your own. I get we got to work with these guys. You know what? It's been amazing. I, I I've been with you guys for most of the day. And yeah. I'm extremely bluntly honest with you. So I'm going to tell I'm going to tell you one topic and then uh, I'm going to show you one more quick thing right after Ryan's done here. I would with Sesame. I would with Sesame. They host their site. Yeah. If you go to our site, RitterAndRamsey.com, yeah. go to RitterAndRamsey.com, uh, I cannot, go ahead, I can't take credit for, just hit the escape out of there, brother. Okay. Uh, I can't take credit for the way the site was built, because Sesame built it to optimize the site, which was great, and they did that for us as a courtesy, because uh, we were, Rob and I were lecturing a lot, but here's the thing, that being said, it wasn't doing me any good, because all those great reviews were the same thing, they were within the intranet of, uh, of, of Sesame. So we could have continued with Sesame basically at no charge, but we weren't getting anywhere with it. Right. They built a beautiful site. So we hired Ryan and his company. So if you anyone sitting here, unless you're really good at it, the thought of doing all this on your own is a pipe dream. Because whatever Ryan's fee was, we didn't really care because we were it's the same as whatever you cost for a full page yellow page ads back in the day. You pay it and you do what you do to make money on your end and let the, the background work happen on its own. And so when you know when um, when he started doing all this for us, it's amazing because it just piped us, it took about three, three and a half months, and then we were just listed at number one. And so when we started coming up uh, number one, or when you start started seeing all of our, our reviews and everything, we couldn't have done that no matter how technologically savvy we were. We just couldn't make it happen. So we put General Dentist Jupiter Florida, it was just, uh, or cosmetic, you know, we put Cosmetic Dentistry Jupiter Florida. There we are on the non search site, 30 out of 30 on Zag. So, so what, and this, this is the pay per click section right here, guys. And right now, I don't know why this, the, the picture's not showing up here, but, but generally, what will happen is, is we, we set it up so that we put code on your website that is called authorship code that allows a picture of actually, your partner, not you. Yeah, thank I don't you. know, are you thinking about that? I had to okay. do that, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, score of 30 out of 30, and you can see the 11, 11 reviews, and here's the little pin, so here's here's the map. So this is basically their their practice on the map, and, and that's that's a map listing. And, and like I said, 69% of people are starting with Google to do their search. So what stops Google, they're smart guys there, from like discounting a private landing page like they did with Demand Force before. Okay, it's, it's important that you understand that that private review, review landing page is not something that is is out there for for Google to find. It's just something for it's just a portal for us to gather reviews. We then take those reviews and we submit them with, with we we submit them to the directories with the original like IP address or something. No, we 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 change the IP address. We get the the okay from the person when they actually click and submit the review, they agree to our terms of service, which allows them, as I said before, to create a review with their name and everything about them, so that we can submit a real review from a real customer, a real patient of yours. Does that make sense? Yes. What's your general cost? Is 
So, well, there is, there's an ongoing, okay, here's the bottom line, we, we need to make sure that, I know we've got to wrap up in, in one second, there's, there is ongoing maintenance, there's, there's two different things we're talking about here, and I want to make sure that you guys understand that, there's, there's review or reputation management, and then there's optimization on the maps. Those are the two things, as I started out my presentation, I told you that we do. We start with reputation, we build a reputation, we can actually build you, and just start out with reputation marketing first, and build your five-star reputation, which in that case, we would actually submit 10 reviews for your business on a monthly basis for between 500 and 750 a month, okay? In addition to that, we would do a lot of other things, like we would actually, again, we'd, we'd let you know when any negative or positive reviews are posted within the same day. We would also set up your training your training page so that your entire staff can be trained on this key importance of this and so they can get a big picture fast and get the results. Uh, we also build those, those postcards and business cards. So anyway, that's what the that's what the reputation marketing part is, is costing. The other part, which is this this part, which is just getting getting you on the map here, that is local optimization or local marketing, and that is a thousand that's a thousand dollars a month. And the bottom line is, is that there's about 30 to 60 hours of work that we do every month in terms of claiming new directories for your business, in terms of potentially creating more videos. For your, there's only four ways that you can actually increase your rankings on the map. There's creating more videos, creating more reviews, there's um, um, getting more backlinks to your website, and the fourth one is um, reviews, videos, and then cr uh, claiming more citations creating more directories, yell, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I gotta, I gotta jump, guys, but thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Just a quick question. And I noticed, like, he has 11 reviews here, yeah. and I just did my, and I've been, I haven't hired someone like you, but literally for a year, yeah. we've asked every patient to review us. Yeah. We've given them um, an email, giving a link to our Google Places page, and I only have nine. Like, how can you have so few? Like. He's, here's your customer, he has 11. Like, why do I only have nine? Like, I know more people than that have, have tried. They must have, you know, it's unbelievable. And it's weird, the nine that you look at, and they're good, yeah. but they're like from a year ago, you yeah. know? Like, the, the most recent one is five months ago. There's just no way no one has tried in the last five months to do this. So what is, what are we doing wrong? You and me, because he only has 11. Like, two, once they drop two more, you're gonna lose your Zagat base. Yeah. You know? Here you are, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know you yeah, so, yeah. Good, good point. So, so, can, so, you stay, so, can you stay from 4 to 5 today? Yeah. Can you stay? yeah. Right, so that we're going to have a reception from 4 to 5 today. Yep. You can stay. Yep. So any questions? Any more questions? Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah he's going to stay and answer those. Because those are actually, these are great questions. The great thing about it is Brian's information could literally go on. It could be a full day gig about understanding. Because this is complex. I'll be the first one to tell you, you know what? At the beginning, when Brian and I first met, I was like, I'm going to understand this. <laughs> About a half hour into it, I was like, I am not going to understand this. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I don't care. Because the great thing is, and we're all that age grab it where everybody's Facebooking and all that. I don't care how he does it. It's like knowing what my accountant does. I don't really know what he does. It's just pay at the end, pay at the beginning, okay. But do what you do all day long to keep me from paying a lot. You know, so him is do what you do, get me to number one. But you guys saw it, outside of the pay per click, we're number one. And that's all I wanted. How he did it, I don't care. What strings he pulled, how he did it, but it worked. And that's why I wanted him here today, because it works. If you're in a town and you want to be number one, I don't care whether you're a lawyer, a plumber, or a dentist, there's a lot of companies that say they can do it, but I see a lot of companies falling short. We were getting those services for free. I'm not going to lie to you. We had companies coming to us, hey, Ritter Ramsey, we want to do this for you. We want to, because we know you're on the road, we know you're in front of people, you'll promote us. And I was like, well, the proof is in the pudding, and it didn't pan out. So now, we had somebody say, well, I can get it for free or I can pay somebody who gives me real results. That's why I wanted you guys to meet Ryan. So pick Ryan's brain while we have the reception. I need, we are ending right now. I want three minutes to end with one thing real quickly just to, to end on one dentistry note real quickly because I got a lot of questions about this. I want to share something with you because nobody else has this data.